YouTube. This your girl PK coming to y'all on this lovely Thursday. Actually, today is March the 31st. Okay, so y'all have attempted to try to post videos, things like that, record videos on my webcam. Um, my laptop is gone. I had to actually get um, a keyboard um, for it because my keys went out and somehow on my laptop my webcam went out so I'm just like totally just all through through and I have a um, flip camera which some reason why it won't load to my main um, desktop computer so I've been trying several things I have recorded when I went to the hospital and found out what I was having things like that I'm gonna find a way to get that to y'all but right now i want to go over it's been a while so how's everybody been doing um i think it's been over a month now almost eight weeks if i'm not mistaken last time i came to y'all i think i was um in my 15 to 16 week and so um pretty much since um my um 17 18 week i did good i mean haven't had no problems um pretty much i've been doing good all the weeks from um, now I'm in my 24th week, so by Monday I'll be, well by Sunday I'll be in my 25th week. So these weeks are going by fast y'all and I, like I said, it has just been a lot going on uh, with my systems and I'm just like, oh my gosh. I have received a lot of y'all um, inboxing me and actually leaving on my profile asking me how I've been doing and y'all miss me and things like that and I've missed y'all so much. I've thought about y'all so many times and it's like lord is like help me how do i get to the to show everyone what's been going on or telling everyone what's been going on but like i said everything has been going good um let me go over some brief things i noticed that my um breast has got bigger and um it's real sore pretty much if I can say like in my nipple area it's very very sore and so um, I am um, talking about breastfeeding so I know that they're gonna continue to be sore or whatever but those are the main things that I have been suffering with um, and actually I think I came to y'all when I was I had thick yeah I think I came to y'all because I was sick for three weeks at one time and then I think I have recorded the video this 15, 16 weeks. But um, I do know what I'm having now. I'm not going to disclose it right now. But I will um, tell y'all. Um, I only had one doctor's appointment since the last video I posted. Which was like over a month ago. And so um, pretty much what I want to tell y'all is that. My doctor visit went well. There was a lot of drama. Y'all knew beforehand when I told y'all the first time I had drama with this doctor's office. It was crazy. But I'm going to tell y'all what happened on this doctor visit, which was the 16th of, of February. No, of March. Sorry. Okay, so we went to the doctor's office. Everything was going good. Um, we had to be there by 9 o'clock. So we get there and when I go up there to sign in, the lady's telling me, well, we haven't, um, we haven't got approved for your ultrasound yet. And so we don't know when it's going to be approved. Medicaid would have to approve it, being that I already had one the first time. So I'm like, okay. So I kind of got bothered because I'm like, okay, my husband took off. I'm coming up here at 9 o'clock in the morning, even though I know by 9.30 I was supposed to have my other doctor's appointment or my, my visit. But this was just for the ultrasound. So she was like, yeah, we're not going to be able to um, give it to you because Medicaid, you may have to contact Medicaid because we don't have anything to do with that. They will have to approve it. So I was like, okay. So I kind of got upset and I walked off. But I walked off and just went to go sit down. I was going to call the back of Medicaid card, but I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to ask them um, who do I directly have to speak to in Medicaid. So in the midst of me walking up there, I end up um, was about to ask them exactly who I would have to speak to the Medicaid. And so in the midst of me doing that, I overheard them talking. And I heard the lady telling one of the other ladies, yes, she's been approved. The lady said, oh, she was approved? She was like, yeah, but for next week. 
And so I'm thinking to myself, okay. So she's like, well, can you tell me why she's approving next week if I can go out there and tell her? So I was like, okay. I was just standing there just waiting. And instead of um, her really explaining to her, she came to me and told me that I wasn't going to be approved until next week. Um, I said, well, why would y'all do the first ultrasound if y'all knew it was going to interrupt with this ultrasound? Well, we don't have nothing to do with that. You, um, It's always you get the first ultrasound, whoop de woo and pretty much Medicaid won't approve you um, if you have more than one, unless it's a medical reason. But I was like, well, okay, well, I'm supposed to be finding out what I'm having today. And so she was like, well, Medicaid doesn't want to hear anything about that. They would not. They would straight deny you if you tell them, oh, I'm trying to find out the sex of the baby. It has to be a medical reason. So I said, well, we're supposed to be finding out if the baby's healthy, if the baby has any Down syndromes or anything like that. She was like, yes. She said, they have that on your file, but it's still up to Medicaid um, exactly when you're going to get this ultrasound. So she pretty much was like, schedule your appointment for next week with your ultrasound. I said, well, no, I'm already here. I was like, but I have never been through so much with a doctor's office so much drama and she was like well do you want to go elsewhere I was like why would she ask me that like this is the second time this office didn't ask me that it was another lady asked me that before why are y'all so quick to say do you want to go elsewhere no I'm here I just don't understand why it's so much confusion every time I come here it's been six weeks since my last visit so you telling me within the six week period you just now finding out I can't get approved until next week first when I walked in I wasn't approved at all so, in the midst of me, I guess, getting upset, I actually got approved for next week. And then turn around, I, it's time for me to go in the back for the doctor's office. You know, because I was like, pretty much just through. I was like, you know what, I'm going to stay here for my visit, whatever. So, you know, me and my husband were sitting there talking. He was getting upset because, of course, he took off work. We were all excited. My whole family was excited about this day. And they took me in the back, and I had to do my urine test or whatever. And to weigh myself. So in the midst of me coming out the bathroom, here comes the nurse. Oh, you've been approved for today. I was like, I've been approved. She was like, yeah, you've been approved for today. I said, okay. And I guess she wanted me to jump for joy. She was like, did you hear me? You got approved. I said, okay. You know, but I'm like, how in the midst of me coming first, I first hear I'm not approved at all. Then turn around, I get approved for next week. And then I come out the bathroom, I'm approved for today. I feel like it's just a lot of games. And I thought they was playing with me pretty much because how did all this roll over like that just that quick? But when I walked in the door, my, my um, Medicaid, whatever, didn't go through and I wasn't approved. Something just wasn't right with that picture. But anyways, eventually I went to the ultrasound. Yes, we found out what we were having and all. And so pretty much I will show y'all. What I'm having, I will show you um, some ultrasound pictures. Here it is. Know that the peace comes from above is the same everlasting Yes, y'all. It's a girl. We thought it was a boy this whole time. I mean, we went into Baby R Us one day. My youngest daughter over there looking at girl stuff. And me and my husband over there looking at boy stuff. Like, come over here. Don't be looking at girl stuff. We having a boy. You know, we was all excited. But yes, y'all, we having a girl. And so, um, I went ahead and picked up a couple of things when I was in Baby R Us. We went, went back in there after um, I found out because we went to um, actually um, register. So let me show you these little cute little tank tops I found. Cute little tank tops. Little onesie tank tops. So cute. And bought some little socksies. and some little bibs it's about four bibs on here different colors real cute pretty my heart belongs to daddy and then the other ones are just like butterflies and things like that 
and I got a little, a little outfit, kind of match the bibs. And this one says, Mommy Loves Me. I thought these were so cute. And then little onesie t-shirts. Pretty much that matches the bibs and the little um, suits. So that's pretty much, um, yeah. So y'all, I'm having another girl. I'm excited and all. And so my husband is excited too. You know, he was, um, he was thinking we was having a boy as well which this is his first child so it didn't really matter to him but we thought we were having a boy but i'm excited and let's see oh yeah i went out of town to my friend's baby shower um this past weekend which was nice we went to ohio um it was a nice trip um first time me and my husband took a long trip like that but my girls was with us it was nice other than that I don't know if there's anything else. I hope this goes through. I hope that my webcam ain't like making me look like I'm talking slower than what it's actually saying. Um, what else? Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a body shot now from what I look like now compared to what I look like at 15 to 16 weeks. So, here we go. My shirt says, it is what it is. Like this. Woo. Y'all can see I'm carrying a load. So, right now, like I said, I'm at 24 weeks. And I think this is like... That's pretty much it, y'all. Um, I'm going to have other videos coming. Um, as far as... Um, I have some dancing videos. Things like that I want to post. But like I said, my desktop and things have been acting up. So, I'm going to do my best to try to post this video. Um, she's kicking me like crazy. That's another thing. She actually was kicking me a little bit. Um, before my ultrasound, but like after my ultrasound, it's like she was on it. And if y'all noticed in one of the ultrasounds that I showed you, she actually had her butt tooted up in the air. It's like she didn't want the camera to be looking at her or the light, whatever, be um, when it's um, when it do the ultrasound. So she put her head down and had her on her knees and tooted up in the air and then on another one she had her hand like this like she didn't want nobody to see her i'm like omg she is a mess already i'm in the mess now trying to plan for baby shower which my baby shower is in june june 11th and they're taking me on july 11th if i have not already told you which i will be having a third c-section and so we're going to schedule the baby shower a month before and so, pretty much, I'm not going to be the only one doing it. My mom and my sister-in-law, they pretty much like, oh, you shouldn't be doing your baby shower, this and like that. Which, I'm not trying to do the whole thing, you know. But I do want to put my input in, and get some things that I know I would like to have in my baby shower. So, that's pretty much what I've been doing um, lately as well. Yesterday, y'all, I got real sick. That's another thing I meant to tell y'all. Okay, so they say when you're pregnant... You can't eat deli meat without heating it up. So, of course, me trying to think fast, because I'm getting ready for work yesterday, um, put salami and turkey into the microwave. And I ate the, I made a sandwich. I put mayonnaise and mustard on it and cheese, and I was eating some barbecue chips. And so I knew my son was feeling kind of queasy on my way to work, and I was like, oh, my God. So, pretty much when I got to work, y'all, I was feeling horrible. I tried to drink some Sprite because I didn't have no ginger ale. So, I tried to drink Sprite that I, that, that, that I knew that we sold in our store. And it was horrible. Pretty much was throwing up. My manager's like, do you need me to call the Imelands? And I'm like, no, I just need to sit here. I mean, horrible. 
I will never do that again. I usually fry my meat if I'm going to eat meat. Or like if I go to Subway, they'll put it in the oven. But putting it in the microwave, that was a no-no. I would never do that again. But um, other than that, I'm fine today. And I'm excited. And so y'all tell me what y'all think. And I love y'all. I will try to post something when I can. And that's pretty much it. So comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell someone about my channel. So I guess I will talk to y'all later. Bye.